Good morning, remote learners. It is our last day of our perspective unit. So this is um, called air, like using an aerial viewpoint, um, also known as using a bird's eye view when drawing in one point perspective. Uh, we are currently looking down on a city block. Um, and I only elevated half of it fully just because I kind of wanted you all to see how it starts. So here goes. Um, all you need is a pencil, eraser, paper, and a ruler. So to start, all you're gonna do is using um, your ruler, draw a bunch of boxes. Um, I'm not going to use a ruler just um, to really monopolize um, on time because I feel like my last demo was way too long. Um, you could also create kind of boxy shapes that aren't, you know, squares or rectangles, something like that. Um, give it a little more visual interest. Um, I'm going to even do one right there. Um, essentially something, something like that. Okay. Then all you do is throw your vanishing point somewhere towards the middle of your page. Okay. And then you take all of these points, that vanishing point, easy breezy, right? So I'm going to pivot, making sure that all of my lines go to that vanishing point. Um, you probably want to draw relative relatively lightly so that you can erase later lines you don't need um i probably should have done that the other way but that's okay um it will still work so keep doing that every single point <clears throat> excuse me going to that vanishing point um like so Okay, so these are kind of the beginnings of buildings. I mean, it's relatively similar to the um, exercise we did uh, turning squares into cubes, uh, I think last week. Okay, so at this point, I have the beginning of my buildings. Now all I need to do is chop them off at the bottom, mimicking uh, the line that they... Uh, coincide with. So as an example, this is uh, the top side of this building. So for the bottom, it also needs to be vertical. Um, on this building, I might chop it off there. And then in order to mimic that line, I would chop it off there. I'll try to darken those lines so y'all can really see. Um, for this building, I mimic that line at the bottom. And you decide how tall you want your buildings to be. Um, that is entirely up to you. This line, it's mimicking that line. Um, for this building, I'm going to stop it there, and it mimics that line. Uh, for this building, I'm going to stop that building there, mimicking that line. Then I'm going to erase all of my extra lines that I don't need. Okay. And you have the beginning of your buildings. Then, at this point, um, for windows and whatnot, um, you would just take this vanishing point up the sides of your building, right? So, there's a side of that building. For this building, maybe my windows or something like that. Uh, like for this building right here, like that, you get the gist of this, right? And then like for this building, I could do, um, I would probably recommend doing a different design or style of window on each building just to make it more interesting. Um, but I thought I'll keep it kind of simple for the uh, purposes of doing the demo. And then, you know, for tops and bottoms of your window. These lines mimic that, right? And then where it gets interesting is that for this side, um, for the verticals, yes, you go to the vanishing point, like so. Um, it would be easier at the straight edge. And then for um, 
the top and bottoms of your windows, they would mimic that line. So it would be more like that. Um, I'll show you kind of an easier building. Like if I was going to do windows on this building, these lines would mimic that and then the verticals would go to that vanishing point. So in order to make it look more building-y, all you're gonna do is come in, you're gonna decide where your light source is, where your dark areas are, where your light areas are. You might add some city streets. Um, I'll make them kind of random because it's an aerial view and you'd be looking directly down upon them. Um, they would not necessarily have to work with the vanishing point uh, because they are flat on the ground and you're looking down upon them. So something like that, um, you know, bushes would just be the top, right? Because you wouldn't see the sides because you're looking down. And then what I would totally recommend is doing something interesting on the tops of your buildings. Like we'll give this one a pool. So, or no, I'll give this one a pool. So I'm going to draw my rectangle. I'm going to put a diving board in. Erase whatever I don't want. Um, I might try to give it a little bit more depth by doing um, that on that edge, something like that. Um, you know, if you were drawing like a chimney, like I, I would do my rectangle and then vanishing point, vanishing point, vanishing point. Mimic that line for that straight line and mimic this line for that horizontal line. Um, and then you have kind of a chimney thing. You could even do one on top of that. Just draw your rectangle, vanishing point, vanishing point, vanishing point, straight up and down to mimic that side and straight across to mimic that side. Um, this side of the building is kind of interesting because it's kind of right on the vanishing point. So it won't be very dynamic in terms of angles uh, with the exception of potentially this edge. Um, so the further away your elements get from that vanishing point right there, uh, the more dynamic and the more, the more angular your lines would be. So if I wanted to do uh, like a little chimney or, you know, penthouse up here, um, I would draw my square vanishing point, which is right there, if you remember. Vanishing point, vanishing point, and then mimic this line. Well, that's a, like a two-story town or two-story penthouse and then mimic that line for there. Um, and that's it. I mean, shade, add more visual interest. Um, as you can see, like from this one, the more detail, the more shading you have, uh, the more interesting it is. Like I would argue that that side is a lot more interesting than that side. Uh, but there you have it, aerial view, bird's eye view of a city. And um, that is it for perspective for now. Uh, have a good day. Make art every day. Miss you guys.